Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to be making this beautiful cow neck top. So if this is something that interests you, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. So guys, first and foremost, you are going to be drafting um, this pattern on a pattern paper. And this is the fabric we are going to be using for this tutorial. So I'm going to set the fabric aside first. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go ahead and uh, mark out um, the starting points of our pattern paper, which also doubles as the shoulder line. So that is what I just marked now. So from that shoulder line, I'm going to insert my um, chest line. I will insert the bust point, the waist line, and the top length. Then after inserting all that, I'm going to make a straight line across and label each of those lines. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to go ahead and mark my um, shoulder width, my shoulder length measurement which is 14 inches divided by 2, 7 inches. Then I'm going to come down by 1 inch on that 7 inches. Then I'm going to mark my neck width. The neck width I'm using is 3 inches. Yours might be more or smaller than that. Then I'm going to connect the neck width to the shoulder, to the 1 inch I came down with to form the shoulder slope. So on that shoulder slope, I'm going to connect the shoulder slope to the chest line in a straight line like so. So on the chest line, I'm going to go ahead and insert my bust circumference measurement divided by 4. Then on that straight line, I'm going to go ahead and take the midpoint. Then when I get the midpoint, I'll go in by half an inch. Then I'm going to connect the shoulder slope, the midpoint that I just got now, and the um bust pan measurements that i measured the other time to form my arm o so the next thing i'll do is that on my chest line i'm going to go ahead and insert my bust pan circumference then i'm going to add two inches to it one inch for ease and one inch for seam allowance because we are not going to be adding zipper to this um to this clothes so on the waistline i'll measure my waistline uh, measurements divided by four and i'm going to add two inches just like i did for the um chest line then i'll do the same again for the top length i'm going to insert my hip measurements and two extra inches so i'm just going to go ahead and use my curve rule to connect those points so um we are going to be drafting only one pattern so this pattern prepared this pattern we are drafting now is what we are going to be using for both um the front and the back panel of this um outfit so on the top length i'm going to go ahead and go up by one hinge and i'm going to use my curve root to connect that one hinge to form a um in a slant manner to the uh, top length this is so that the top you have um, a bit of shape at the side so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and work on the neckline remember we've already marked the neck width so the neck depth i'm going for is about one and a half inches or two inches so um the depth um, should not be more than two inches so because you know the front panel is going to fall down so we are practically done so i'm just going to go ahead now to cut it out so after cutting it out i'm going to place it on the um on the fabric so i'm going to fold my fabric into two and just place the center on the fabric like so pin it down and use it to cut the back panel So guys, I finished cutting the back panel and as you can see, I added half an inch to the down parts and to the shoulder parts of the back panel. So now that we are done with the back panel, it's time to work on our front panel. So to uh, because we are using slash um, method for this um, pattern. So I'm just going to go up by one inch from my chest line. If you like, you can maintain your chest line, but I just like going up by one inch. So I'm going up by one inch on my chest line and I'm going to connect it to my 
armhole in a straight like with a straight line like so then i'm just going to go ahead and slash it um till about half an inch towards the head of the armhole so after doing that i'm just going to bring my fabric and fold it into two again then i'm just going to place this um this front panel that i've already slashed i'm going to place it on it so i'm going to place it on it like so so um while placing it on it make sure you are careful so that um what you slash will not cut into two so after placing it on it i'm trying to like arrange it properly so remember i said we are doing slasher spread method so the next thing is to spread our uh, um this place that we have slashed so how wide you spread it depends on um the depth you want if you want your cleavage to show properly you can spread it as long as as wide well as nine inches and if you have enough clothes you can spread it as long as you want so because um with this tutorial i don't want the cleavage to be showing much and besides the fabric i'm using um will not be um enough so i'm just um spreading it by about five inches so once i spread it like so i'm just going to go ahead and pin it down all through then i'm going to go ahead and cut it out guys just be careful while cutting it just look at the way i'm cutting it so you can get yours as you can see see the way i'm cutting the neckline so that is how you should cut yours as well so guys after cutting this is what i have so i'm just going to go ahead now to unpin the pattern paper from the fabric and i'm going to lift up take away the pattern paper so i'm going to open up my fabric now this is the back panel so i want to show you how it's going to look um after joining the two shoulders together so i'm just trying to place the front and the back panel on each other and i'm trying to align the shoulder together so as you can see it's already falling so if you want yours to fall more than this um you are going to have to spread it wider than how i spread mine so remember i used five inches so you can use seven inches for yours you can use eight nine ten inches depends on how um deep you want it to fall so now i'm going to go ahead to cut facing for my uh, front panel the, the what you are going to use to turn the neckline of the front panel so i'm going to fold a another piece of fabric into two like so then i'm going to place my front panel on it like so so after placing it on it i'm going to go down by one inch from the armhole from the armhole i'm going to uh, i'm going to go down by one inch from the armhole so i'm going to go ahead now to cut out the facing So guys, after cutting out the facing, this is um, what we have. So I'm going to place the facing and the front panel on each other, right side facing each other. I'm going to fold the down part of the facing. Then I'm going to go ahead and take it to my machine and join the neckline together like so. Turn it to the other side and use my iron to press it. Then for the back panel, I'm going to fold in the neckline so guys this is how the front panel looks like after pressing it after attaching the facing and pressing it so the next thing i'm going to do is to place both the front panel and the back panel on each other as you can see i've already turned the neckline of the back panel as well so i'm going to place them on each other right side facing each other then i'm going to go ahead and hold um, the shoulders together so how do I join the shoulder? I'm going to sandwich the shoulder um, of the back panel in between the shoulder of the front panel and the shoulder of the um, facing. So I'm using the shoulder of the facing to close up, to cover the shoulder of the back panel. So what this means is that the back panel, the shoulder of the back panel will be in between the 
um, shoulder of the front panel and shoulder of the facing. I don't know whether you understand what I just said, but if you don't understand, just look at what I'm doing. So I'm just going to go ahead now to pin it down. So once I pin it down, I'm going to um, take it to my machine and join them together. So after joining the shoulder together, I'm going to align the sides to each other. So I'm going to make sure they are lying properly on each other and sew down with the one hinge seam allowance I left. Then I'm going to M the down part and I'm going to fold in the armhole because I'm not attaching sleeve. Then I'll come back and show you how it looks. So guys, this is the final look of our cow neck top. So if you want yours to fall more than this, like I said, all you have to do is to make sure you spread it wider. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Please do well to like this video, comment in the comment section and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.